Musa Niyakate is not a red. Welcome to your breaking forest news. Good morning, good evening, or good night. I hope you guys are doing well. And welcome to your latest breaking forest news. And it's just literally moving like a steam train. And as we expected, things, well, we prayed, should we say, things were going to happen late before the 30th of June. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. And this video is sponsored by our mate CCL, where you can get the most next level upgrades for your PCs, if you want projectors, if you need RAM for your computer, and I can vouch for RAM. Boy, is it important. Scan the QR code or check out the link that's pinned in the comments. Okay, let me bring you up to date. It was only a couple of hours ago where we were saying this deal was going through. There was talks about when the medical was going to happen. How much are we getting, etc. Well, we now know all the details. So this has been confirmed by Romano. And he has said, Musa Niyakate to Leon is a here we go. Deal sealed directly between the two presidents for a total fee of around 20 million pounds, not euros, pounds. Now, we've been hearing conflicting reports from France saying that it's a 15 million euro deal. As of yet, I can't confirm which way it is. Romano tends to be quite good with these things. And there are other reports saying it's 20 million plus add-ons. So we can, let's, let's broad brush this a little. It'll be between 15 and 20 million. Now, if we put that into perspective, what does that mean? And by the way, he signed a four-year deal as well. We'll come on to Niyakate in a second, but let's look at it from the Forest perspective. Now, we bought Niyakate for between 10 and 12 million, and he had a three-year deal, which leaves his amortization on about three to four million. Let's call it four million. If Forest have done it for 20 million and we've just made a neat 16 million profit ESR profit that is on Niyakate and in fact overall Forest would have made an 8 million profit there or thereabouts on Niyakate so by the BS rules on PSR we've absolutely knocked this one out of the park by the real life rules of you know profit minus sales figures etc We've knocked it out of the park as well. And Niyakate just having one year on his contract, in six months' time, he could have left Nottingham Forest for absolutely nothing. Under Bosman, he could have started putting some deals together. But what we need to say about Niyakate is I am sad to see him go. I really like Niyakate. He was plagued massively by injury in that first season. And he, I thought where he came in last season did quite well. And I'm going to miss those throw-ins, man. Those launch pad throw-ins. To be honest, ever since he picked the injury up in last year's preseason on his elbow, those throw-ins haven't quite been the same. But anyway, it's not really our problem anymore. So I am extremely excited and extremely happy by this. Not because it's Niyakate, but because of what potentially it's going to save Forrest. And that is Murillo and Morgan Gibbs-White. Can we just get some... Some comments in, please, about Leon, because they're now my second team. I've always liked Leon. Okay, I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I had an affiliation to a French club, it was Leo. But true Leo, man. Leon are our saviors because this isn't the only deal going through. As we told you in the morning video, that is going to be Mangala as well, and Forrest is still expecting to get that one done and over the line before the 30th of June. Now, rewind back to the PSR. If you remember when we released the PSR video about six weeks ago, we said we believed that it was about 24 and a half to 26 million that Forrest owed. There are other reports agreeing with us, and some are lowballing it at about 20 million. With this deal and with um, Mangala, Forrest is so clear of PSR that it's just a dot, man. It's so far behind us, we can't see the line. We are safe and clear, and we should be happy. We need to do a PSR party stream. If you want that, let me know in the comments down below, because it's relieving. 
I was getting an itchy asshole. I'm not going to lie to you guys, thinking, shit, three days to go here. Where are the sales? We've seen the links of Murillo. I was getting to the stage last night where I was thinking, Murillo versus points, Murillo versus points. And now we are past that stage. We are safe, man. <clears throat> and to be honest, there is another scenario here where we could keep Mangala. Technically speaking, we could keep Mangala because those ones on the cutting, on the chopping list are Warrell. We told you about Lewis O'Brien, the two goalkeepers, Dennis, etc. If they were all to go, it would generate Forrest more and more profit. But the most important thing about this, with Chelsea sniffing around for Murillo right now, we will not sell Murillo. We will keep Murillo and he will be, if he's sold, if he's sold, it would be for you're looking at at least 70 million pounds. Forrest are now officially at that Premier League table and Maranakis is making his way up to the head of the table. Roman Reigns style, man. Maranakis means business right now. And I have it on good authority, on good authority, that if all these deals go through, the only thing that will get Murillo and Morgan Gibbs White out of this club would be a sensational offer as well. And if I couldn't make your day any better, we're probably not getting Che Adams now. What a good day. What a good day. Add on top of that as well, Leicester are potentially getting hit with two PSR charges. One for their mess up the other season that they stuck two fingers up at the Premier League for, and they're expected again to breach this year. Now, how that works, I don't know, because they were in the championship last season, but there are loads of reports out on it. I've had Chappie crying down the phone to me. He won't even call Steve Cooper Steve Cooper. He's calling him Stephen Cooper at the moment. This day just couldn't get any better if it tried. So, recap. We don't know for sure the price, but um, Romano is saying 20 million. And that is fantastic profit. For all the memes, for all the BS that we have taken, screw you to all those mainstream media outlets who are saying, oh, Forrest are just in a sweet shop. Maranakis hasn't got a clue how to run a club. He has just sold two players potentially for ridiculous profit. And this now means come July the 1st, do not expect Maranakis to sit on his ass. I expect Forrest to have a very interesting summer. We've seen all the kids that are being linked. Forrest are building that foundation, that youth foundation coming through. But I still expect Forrest to put together a marquee signing before the end of the season as we really now truly start to attack this Premier League on a level playing field because we will have 105 when it comes to PSR now, just like, you know, 18 of the other teams. We have a manager, we have an owner, sorry, who's invested in this club, who is willing to strengthen and spend the right money. And we have a good manager who in a pre-season, hopefully behind him, will get it all together, will reduce that squad size, get rid of the deadwood, put a squad together that we can get excited about. about. And then we have to play our goddamn bogey team, Boring Mouth, on the first game of the season. Bring it on, I say. Bring it on. Get your thoughts in about all of that down below. If you've enjoyed the content, if you are happy today, make sure you have hit that like button. Fuck it, let's get 800 likes on this video. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. And this really is the best cure for hay fever. Come on, you Reds.